Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this London letterbox. It was another request. I've crocheted it in three sizes. When crocheted using 8 ply wool, this large one, the size is 16.5 cm by 7 cm or 6.5 inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. The medium one, crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton, is 11 cm by 5 cm or 4 and a quarter inches by 2 inches. The small letterbox, crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton, is 9 cm by 4 cm or 3.5 inches by 1.5 inches. I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton. I've got red as my main colour and white, dark brown and black. I'll be using a 1.5mm crochet hook. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and I've got red, white and black sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and a small amount of embroidery. Now I'm starting on the bottom here so using my black I start with 12 chain For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put the hook into the stitch, the second stitch from the hook, bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the two loops. And I need a single crochet into the next stitch. And then I work one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. A half double crochet is called a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring back a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and we work a half double crochet into the next stitch as well and then we work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches a double crochet is a treble using UK terms for a double crochet put the yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring back a loop Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops and then work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then work one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches and then one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. And there's row one. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and we work 1 single crochet into each of our 11 stitches. So a single crochet into each stitch to the end.
For row 3, we start with 1 chain and turn our work. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and we'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch, and we'll have 13 stitches. So 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and then work two single crochet into our last stitch. For row four, we start with three chain and turn. And for this row, we're going to work in the back loop only. So just into this back loop, We'd normally work into the front and back loop, but we're just going to work into the back loop. It will just give it a slight ridge just before we join the red. Now for our first stitch, we're going to work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches, but in the back loop only. So for a joined double crochet, we put the yarn around the hook Hook into the back loop only of the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops. Then we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the back loop only of the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. And then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the back loop only of each stitch to the last two stitches. So a single crochet into the back loop only of each stitch till we have two left. And then we're going to work a join double crochet in the back loop only of the remaining two stitches. And that's the bottom part done. We're going to join in our red now. So I just hook it over my hook and then bring it through. And I work one chain. And I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. I'm going to work over the top of my red tail.
Now that's row four down. I can fasten off the black. Now rows five to 26 will work the same. We work one chain and turn our work and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 11 stitches. Now I'll continue working row 6 to 26 and I'll meet you when I've finished row 26. Now I've worked up to the end of row 26. Next I join my dark brown and I'm going to work this little strip along there. So I join into my dark brown into here and work one chain and turn my work. I'm not going to fasten off my red because I'll use it next row and I work one slip stitch into each stitch across. For a slip stitch I put my hook in to the stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. So one slip stitch into each of the 11 stitches. And then I fasten off the brown now I'm going to bring my red cotton up into the first stitch just like that so I've got it looped into the first stitch just the back loop and then I work two chain and then working into the back loop of my slip stitches, I work two half double crochet into the first one. And then I'm going to work one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch to the last stitch. And I'll work two half double crochet into the back loop of the last stitch. I'll have 13 stitches. So after my two half double crochet in the first stitch, I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, working only into the back loop. And then two half double crochet into the back loop of the last stitch. For row 29, we work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches.
and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Now for row 30 we're going to join our dark brown cotton in again, the same as we did the last time. We leave our red attached. We work one chain and turn our work and we're going to work one slip stitch into each of our 11 stitches. And then we're going to work two chain and fasten our brown off. Next we bring our red up to the back loop of our first stitch and we work three chain. We miss the first chain and we work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain. Then we're going to work one single crochet into the back loop only of each of our slip stitches and then one single crochet into each of our chain at the end and we'll have 15 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the end. I'm working into my last two chain now. For row 32, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into each stitch till we have four stitches left.
I've got four stitches left so I work one half double crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 33 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our 15 stitches. Now we're going to join our brown and start on the top. We start with one chain and turn our work. We're going to leave our red joined and we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into each of the following three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And a single crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 35 we start with one chain and turn our work and we work one single crochet into each stitch. Now that's the letterbox done except for a neatening row. I'll fasten off the brown but I leave the red there for my neatening row. I'll just weave in the ends so it will make it easier for you to see and I'll be back and we'll do a neatening row 
using the red and the black. Now there's the unneatened letterbox with all the ends fastened off. I'll just start on a neatening row. Just at the top of the red I'll put my hook in and bring through my red cotton and then I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch down till I get to the black. I just find a suitable place to put my hook for each single crochet, not too far from the edge. And that's part of the neatening row done. It just makes it look a bit neater. Gets rid of the ragged edges. Now I'll join my black in here, I put my hook into the stitch and then bring through the black and then work the rest of the stitch with the black and then I'm going to work my single crochets using black around the bottom. I'm crocheting over the top of the red and also the tail of the black. So I'll continue doing the rest of my neatening row. I'll change back to the red just at the top of the black there and then I'll work back up to the top. I'll meet you when I get near the top. Once I get back to the top of the red, I'll slip stitch in the next stitch and fasten off. And that's the red part done. Now for this letter slot, using my dark brown, I start with seven chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain.
and fasten off. And then I join my black to the first stitch, just the back loop, and work one chain. And I work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each stitch across. and fasten off. And I've just got to do a neatening row around the slot. I join my red cotton in the top of the first stitch and work one chain. And I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch across the top. Into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. Then work one single crochet into the stitch down the side and then into the corner stitch I work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet. And then work a single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. I'm crocheting over some, some of the ends, but I won't crochet over that black end there, I'll weave it in. It's just easier to do my neatening row before I've woven in all the ends. It makes it a bit hard to do it once the ends are woven in. To the end stitch work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet work a single crochet into the stitch in the side, then into that first stitch we worked, work one single crochet, one chain and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the letter slot done. Now for this sign, using my white I work four chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet 
into each of the remaining three chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row three, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And for row four, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our stitches. For the neatening row, I start with one chain and I work a single crochet into that first stitch. Then work one single crochet into each stitch down the side. Work a single crochet, one chain and one single crochet into the corner stitch. Work a single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet into the corner stitch. Then work one single crochet into each stitch up the side. A single crochet, a chain and a single crochet into the corner stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet and one chain into the next stitch and slip stitch into at the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's all our pieces worked. I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. And there's my pieces. I've got the letter box the letter slot and the sign. The first things I'll do is stitch the letter slot to the letter box just evenly a bit under the bottom brown line there and I'll embroider a few little marks on the sign. Now the last thing I'll do is attach the sign probably about there and then I'll be back to show you the finished letter box. And there's the finished letterbox. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.